Hello, in this video we're going to look at finding the elasticity of substitution from two different types of utility functions, a CES, constant elasticity of substitution, and a Cobb-Douglas. So first, a definition of the elasticity of substitution. Uh, this measures the percentage change in the ratio of the consumption of good Y to the consumption of good X from a percentage change in the price ratio which is going to be defined as a price of good X divided by the price of good Y. Here's our formula. Um, so we're taking the derivative of Y with respect to P, and then it's going to be multiplied by P divided by Y. The key thing here is what does this Y and P represent? Y is going to be the ratio of good Y to good X. Okay, So just lowercase Y divided by lowercase X, where Y is... Uh, units of good Y, X is units of good X, and then capital P is going to represent the price of good X divided by the price of good Y, or P subscript X divided by P subscript Y. So we're going to start with the CES utility function. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is get the marginal utility of good X and the marginal utility of good Y. Uh, the marginal utility of good X, we're going to use a chain rule here. Going to bring down the 2 in front. And then it's going to be 2 minus 1, leaving what's in parentheses raised to the power of 1, so I don't need to write that anymore. And then we need to take the derivative of what's in parentheses with respect to X. So the derivative of X to the 1 half power is given by this last expression here, bringing down the 1 half. 1 half minus 1 leaves us X raised to the minus 1 half power. Uh, 2 multiplied by 1 half, that'll just leave 1, so it simplifies to this. The marginal utility of good Y is essentially going to be uh, found by doing the same procedure, uh, this time taking the partial derivative of U with respect to Y. Once again, following the chain rule, bringing down the 2 in front. You got that here. Then 2 minus 1, leaving what's in parentheses raised to the power of 1 taking the derivative of what's in parentheses, but this time with respect to good y, we get this. And once again, the 2 and the 1 half uh, will cancel, leaving us with this. Setting up our utility maximizing condition, uh, where the marginal utility per dollar is equal across both goods. I do that here, making our substitutions. And now the key thing here is we want to take this last expression here and we want to solve it for the ratio of good y to good x. So I want to get an expression where y divided by x equals something. So the first thing I'll do is I'll note that the, we got uh, uh, in parentheses here on the left-hand side, x to the 1 half plus y to the 1 half. That also appears on the, the right-hand side. So that will cancel, leaving us with this expression. Following the rules of exponents, I'll bring x to the minus 1 half down into the denominator and y to the minus 1 half down into the denominator. And then I will multiply through by y to the 1 half power. And then I'll multiply through by the price of good x. Excuse me. Oops, I will get it right. Where did you go? There we go. Sorry about that. So, uh, again, multiplying through by y to the 1 half power and multiplying through by the price of good x gives us this expression. I'm going to square both sides and... Here, as I said, you know, we, our goal here is to get y divided by x, so I did that. And now I'm going to just do our substitutions. We, defi we defined y divided by x as capital Y, and we defined the price of good x divided by the price of good y as capital P, and that capital P is squared here. We got this over here, the squared term, so don't want to forget that. And now what we're going to do is we are going to solve for the elasticity of substitution. We need to take the derivative of this expression with respect to P, so that's just 2P. Recognizing the elasticity of substitution formula, as we saw in the first slide, is given by this. 
Okay, sigma equals the derivative of y with respect to p multiplied by p divided by y. So we got the derivative, that's just 2p. Uh, we're going to just bring back the p here. Okay, so that's where this p is coming from. And then the y, what we're going to do with y is we see that y equals p squared, so I make that substitution. And now we're going to simplify. We're going to get 2p squared divided by p squared, and that's just 2. That is the elasticity of substitution. And in terms of an interpretation, that appears down below here. So we could say a 1% increase in the ratio of price of good X to price of good Y causes the ratio of purchases of good Y to good X to increase by 2%. All right, let's do another example, this time with a Cobb-Douglas utility function. It's going to be the same setup get the marginal utilities of good X and good Y. So I do that here. Set up a utility maximizing condition. So plugging that in. Once again, the key here is to solve this for Y divided by X. Uh, and so, you know, the one halves cancel. They appear on the left-hand side and the right-hand side. So that's what I'm showing here after canceling the one half on the left hand side and right hand side. Um, following the rules of exponents, it looked like I brought this x to the minus one half down here, this y to the minus one half down here. Doing some cross multiplying. Okay, so m multiplying through by y to the one half and dividing everything through by x to the one half will leave us with this. Okay, right, y to the one-half times y to the one-half is y. Dividing everything through by x to the one-half. x to the one-half times x to the one-half is just x. And then the final thing it looks like I did here is I multiplied everything through by the price of good x. And then let's go back to our definitions. We said y divided by x is y. The price of good x divided by the price of good x is just p. We'll take the derivative of this with respect to P, so it's just 1. And now plugging everything into our formula. So we find that the elasticity of substitution equals okay, the derivative of Y with respect to P, which we just saw as 1, so making that substitution, bringing back the P over here. And what is Y? Well, Y is just P, so making that substitution... Uh, P divided by P is 1, so the elasticity of substitution is 1, and that's what you'll get with Cobb-Douglas. It'll always equal 1 for Cobb-Douglas. All right, I hope you found this video helpful.